concerned about the offense Sunday? Um, there, was a, there was a lot of positives, I think, to, to take away from the first game. Um, I, w I was really uh, pleased in the way that DJ was able to operate out there, converted on some third downs for us, um, made some good checks in the run game, uh, and then was pretty efficient with the football. Uh, the, the no turnovers thing, that was something that I think always comes up in the first game is taking care of the football, and um, I thought we, for the most part, made good decisions in the QB spot, and then, and then we're able to take care of it. Um, not putting the defense in any bad situations from that standpoint. Uh, and then I think that looking at pre-snap penalties, we, I think we had three, a couple false starts and a um, delay a game, which we got to, you know, we got to address that and get that stuff cleaned up. Um, but a lot, lot of good things. And I, I was pleased with the way we were, just, we were able to kind of get the run game going, um, keep them off balance with the pass game and, and have a good mix. And I, I thought the, the guys did a pretty good job of executing. I just think there was, coming back, there was a ton of stuff on the film that we can learn and improve from. Um, a lot of technique things, just small things that I think, uh, you know, moving forward, uh, you know, put us in a bad position if we're not ever being cleaned up. But it was good. Uh, I mean, we really challenged our guys this week to come back and go to work and clean those details up. What was, what's one thing that's not so obvious that caught your eye about DJ? Um, just I, I was I kind of liked how he was he was composed out there. I just felt like he was um, even if it was a, a negative play or a poor decision or a missed throw that he was able to you know uh, clear that play out and move on to the next. Um, and it just seemed like he was kind of in control of what we were what we were doing. Um, he was just taking it kind of one one step at a time and um, and doing the, the things that he's coached to do. Um, and then there was a, there was a couple things where he made adjustments in protection. Uh, to, that protected him versus a couple pressures, and he was able to make some hit some passes. And uh, we've been really challenging him on that uh, since he's got here. And it was good to see him, you know, take that from the classroom and, and transition on the field. And um, yeah, I was able to hit a couple big plays because of it. What What most impressed you about the uh, the receiver group? Um, yeah, I just uh, the. Uh, I think that the attention to detail with the route running, I thought from the first group was pretty good with Silas, um, Ant, Josiah. Um, when we went their way, those guys, you know, made plays on the ball. And then I was I was pretty pleased with some of the the. Uh, it was nice to get some of the younger guys in there. Uh, Jeremiah Noga had a touchdown, and uh, Zach Card, some of those guys, to, to get them get them in there and get them some some playing experience. And I think those guys have a lot of things to learn, you know, but. Uh, just to hopefully continue to build depth to that spot. When you watch that play that Noga caught the touchdown, I'm assuming you watched it a few times. How did that? How did that develop? You know, with <laughs> him getting open? Because I mean, at one point it looked like maybe the ball was going to Anthony, but yeah. you know, way over his head. I, but it, that it, was definitely not the design. I, you know, that guy. I, I, in all the years I've called that play, I don't know that any that guy's ever gotten the ball. Um, but yeah, that was just drop eight coverage. Um, our offensive line did a heck of a job protecting, gave DJ time, and DJ just trusted the protection and kind of hung in there. And then the receivers that no good just did a, a good job of continuing to work and go and find open space. It was kind of almost a, a scramble drill without the quarterback scrambling you know, versus versus a three man rush and, and working out good. Yeah. Obviously, you have three really quality options. So what went into the decision having Giles be the first quarterback off the bench in that one? Uh, he's Aiden's. Uh, uh, put together a great spring, and then in fall camp, uh, you know, just kept just kept improving, and uh, and he's done a lot of good things. I think he's um, to me it was the the playmaking, you know, um, and the scrimmages, and just as we he continued to go through practice, that just kept coming, and we we wanted to get him some experience. We still feel really good with Ben. If, if uh, um, you know, we need to call his number with it. I mean, we have we have a, a lot of trust in Ben and his knowledge of the offense and his experience. Uh, but ultimately, felt like Aiden. Man, he's just—he's been—he's been coming on. He's been really improving, and we wanted to try to get him some, some game, game, game experience. See how he'd handle it. What did you think of the drive that he led? I uh, was pretty impressed, man. He, he didn't. Uh, I mean, we, we called a couple throws in there with him. The first one, he, he had a movement, went out, and, and uh, it wasn't necessarily super clean. Set his feet and ripped it, and, and it was just uh, all the stuff that we've seen in practice. It, it was cool to see him just go out there. You never know, guys, in their first. You know, taste the game action, how it's going to be. But man, he just—it was like he was on the practice field and just out there having fun and operating our system. And it was cool to see him put a touchdown drive together. Was that the ideal amount you wanted to see DJ run in a given game? Um, yeah, it's just, I think it's uh, I think it'll be week to week. I think it's—you um, know—I think he's definitely capable of it. And that was 
that, I guess probably that, you know, in that number, in that range of not so much that he's going to get beat up, but enough to keep the defense honest. Um, the running game, uh, really good yards per carry for Martinez, but did you feel like the run game was anything to, to still improve? Anything that, that you Oh, there's a, yeah, there's a ton of stuff on the tape, uh, 100%, that we went back and, um, and some missed opportunities, a lot of technique things, some, some – uh, Miss ID stuff, and that was, I mean, not just the run game, pass game, protection, the whole thing. There was a, uh, a lot of things I felt like that were small things that'll, um, that'll catch up to us down the line uh, that we got to get cleaned up. And I, that was, has been our big challenge this week is there was a lot of great things on that film from our guys to learn from and then hopefully improve, and, and, and you'll see a big jump, you know, take the next step back there this week. How did you feel like the – oh, go ahead. Oh. Defensively, what does UC Davis do? Maybe a little bit differently than what you saw in week one. Um, shoot, uh, I, not not to say this didn't take anything away from San Jose. I, I think um, UC Davis uh, extremely sound in the way that they they operate their system, um, and extreme. You, the guys are well coached. Like they're, uh, you can tell they just they understand their system. Uh, they're in the, the right spot. They're not busting a lot of things, um, and I think they've got a fairly veteran group. Pretty good size up front. I really like the linebackers that they've got. I feel like those guys, um, athletic guys, that um, I feel like would be play in the Pac-12. The guys we might see in the Pac-12. So I think we're we're gonna. It's gonna be a, a week for us where we better be on top of our game. I just feel like they're one of the, for me, one of the better defenses uh, in, the, in the Big Sky, and have been really impressed with them on film. How did you feel like the the offensive line graded out for the first game? Um, th- there was some uh, some good things, and I know Coach Coach Mahalchuk's pretty uh, pretty hard on those guys and, and uh, trying to get them get them all right. But I think there's a lot of things technique wise that you really stress and have been trying to get across in the practice field, and not all of it got through the game. You know, sometimes these guys would revert back to some old um, habits that they had when yeah. they get out there in live action, and I think that was more than anything the technique um, was stuff that we got to got to get cleaned up. And, but man, I, I really like the way that they came off the ball. They played physical, aggressive, um, and they did a pretty good job, in my mind, in pass protection. Will you allow, on Saturday, will you allow yourself a few moments to look around Reeser and just kind of take it in, just being the first game in the new building? Yeah, but I'm, I'm, uh, I'm excited. We've been looking out the window for the last, whatever, year and a half or whatnot and, and seeing it all being built and um, a lot better than being in the trailer last year. There, but yeah, I'm, it sounds like it's going to be a pretty good crowd on Saturday. Yeah, I'm, ex- I'm excited. You, you've you've taken a couple dry runs up in the press box. How how is how is that for you know calling games up there? Is it yeah. better than better than most? Or I mean, yeah, oh yeah, that's one of the better ones in the Pac-12 for sure. Um, good space, air conditioned, good view of the game. Bathroom's not too far, so <laughs> that's yeah. the most. Important. Yeah, no, I'm, it's a it's a it's a, a big time facility, and I know uh, our our players are really excited. To, yeah. Go. Okay. Only four possessions in the first half. What are your views on the, the clock changes? <laughs> uh, you know, it was like the, um, it'll be interesting to see just if it was kind of one game or I'm, I'm just take you know, want to give it a little bit more of a sample size. Um, but we'd love more possessions and and, uh, and some of that was uh, San Jose was able to kind of put some put some things together on offense. I give those guys some credit and they moved the ball a little bit. Um, but we'd love, love more than four and if it continues that way then we might have to you know, makes it a little bit more tempo, a little bit more uh, pace to the offense. Very good. All right.